people always ask me, oh, you don't have a Netflix account. Where do you, where do you watch your movies? And I tell them, this might just be a, a generational gap, but I don't really get the whole Netflix and chill movement. Back in my day, I had to take girls out to the movies. And then back in my father's day, he had to like learn how to dance, go to a club, get a girl's number, write it down on a napkin, call her out for steak, then maybe take her to a movie. I think this whole like Netflix and chill thing is kind of lazy. You know, because at least when you're going to a movie, you have an invested interest in getting your money's worth. And I don't feel like many people are thinking about that when they're paying for their Netflix subscriptions. You know, it's like if you have to wait in the line of 17 people to buy two movie tickets, they're going to cost you $34 just to go upstairs to get in another line to buy snacks and a drink to watch previews to sit to like two hours of silence, your mind is not on the movie. Your mind is on the money. Your mind is on the energy. Your mind is trying to make sure that you get something out of this experience. But then when you go home and you're in your jammies and you're just like, hey, welcome to my house. Yeah, just sit on the couch. You know, the soda's in the fridge. You can get it yourself. It's just, it's lazy work. It's lazy courting, right? And I feel like that's just what's happening with this whole Netflix and chill kind of movement. But it's it's kind of weird now because, you know, everyone's doing this Netflix and chill thing and I don't have a Netflix account. People always ask me, oh, you don't have a Netflix account. Where do you, where do you watch your movies? And I tell them Pornhub because it's faster and I'm being more honest with myself. Anyway, everyone, that's my time. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.